Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 29th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, a little bit of imagery missing, but did catch a large plasma filament taking off from our sun, bottom left-hand side there. Not in an Earth-facing position, but in the last frame, you can see something equatorial is taking off. We'll have to wait for the next update. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, left-hand side is where that large plasma filament was. No major sunspots turning in right now, but I'm pretty sure there is one sizable sunspot on the backside that has been erupting around. Having a look at outgoing imagery here, as we did have a plasma filament totally opposite direct or opposite side northeast region on our sun just a couple days ago closer look at that large plasma filament eruption right here looking at multi spectrum showing all of the latest 48 hours of events you can see that flash in the last second plasma filament whip, ripped away from the equatorial region in the last image, also looking at a pretty large coronal hole, equatorial region. And you can see the filament was connected to it and ripped away in the last frame. Our sun has been quiet for the last couple days, but our planet has not stopped being affected by space weather. As we are up over 600 kilometers per second right now with the solar winds, Solar X-ray flux in sea range right now, heightened sea range after a pretty sizable C-class solar flare. Geomagnetic activity is heightened, sitting at four right now after being up five, almost six. But look at our real-time solar wind, 697 kilometers per second. At one point, it was 705, so we did reach 700 kilometers per second interesting space weather event happening right now as we did not have much forecasted except for coronal hole and then we saw a couple plasma filaments lifting away pretty sure we had a sneaky cme stealth cme affect our planet having a look at our magnetosphere showing the solar winds pounding our planet in the last couple hours it has definitely increased there you can see that dark red is 600 to 700 kilometers per second. Amazing stuff here. Also be looking at the pressure. Now we were talking about the pressure, which I showed about four or five days ago, updated. The pressure was on and it released. And what did we get? One of the largest volcanoes erupting in the world. Hasn't erupted in 38 years. Mauna Loa erupted two days ago. Uh, yeah, overnight, two days ago. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, no major CMEs heading our way. Stay tuned for the next update and give you a prediction for the next CME coming our way. Schumann Resonance for today is a power of 16. Healthy amplitude of 16 Quality 6.3 and a power of 14. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. As it's we're still seeing widespread action around the world, but up over 150 earthquakes across the Hawaiian island since the eruption the other night. Looking at notable earthquakes here, 5.1 and a 5.3. Rick James Ridge as well, a 4.8 here. La Flores, Portugal. We've seen quite a bit of activity over the last little bit in that region as well. Puerto Rico, Santa Domingo, 4.2 earthquake here. Activity coming back there. And through Guatemala, 4.5 and 4.4. El Salvador, Active Fuego, Santiago. Looking across the North American plate, not too much to report. Interesting earthquake here, Prince Patrick Island, Northwest Territories 4.1. Having a look at the Hawaiian Island, 113 earthquakes 
since the, well, this is a 24 hour period. So in the past 24 hours, sitting up over 365 worldwide. Now, I also wanted to share with you here satellite imagery of the eruption overlooking the, the, the big island, Mauna Loa eruption, large flash, and as well, CO2, SO2 spewing into our atmosphere. Luckily, the fissures that have opened up are not going to be a threat to mankind or to any populated region for now. But the whole island is still on high alert. Another imagery here showing hot spots. And it's interesting that six days after I put out that earthquake warning a video, something happening worldwide, we were expecting something big. I figured we would have had a large eruption either Kilauea or even more northward towards Iceland in the Atlantic. But here we are. Mauna Loa has erupted and is still erupting. The caldera filled right up and then funneled out of the caldera, which opened up a huge fissure line and apparently a couple more have formed. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today and as well subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. We were expecting this, and I did put out an earthquake warning video saying that something is coming. Something was building. And here we are. Carrying on here for earthquakes around the world, 4.4 here in Nami, Japan, as well as 5.0 there in between Japan and Taiwan. Quiet across Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. And then we get to Fiji region, 588 kilometer depth, 4.4 today. And overnight, we had a very deep earthquake. It was a 4.4, I believe, but 618 kilometer depth. Levuka, Fiji. So still expecting something even bigger to come. Larger, shallower earthquake. Largest we've seen the past 24 hours was a 5.3 North Atlantic. A couple more earthquakes there. Greece. Quick browse at the last seven days for earthquakes as we are seeing a lot of red. A lot of recent activity. And some deep activity. Fiji. South America. Indonesia. And as well, the Indian Plate. Increasing activity through the Atlantic up into the North Pole and as well the Southeast Pacific our ring of fire is very active right now and we were expecting this having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well updating the most recent volcanoes getting updated extreme weather breaking out across Louisiana and as well Mississippi Jackson, Mississippi, tornado watches and warnings going out. Birmingham, Alabama, as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Most recent volcanoes, Asenge in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala. 207 active hazards right now across the world, and many of them are flood alerts. Interesting in enough. We have a lot more cloud cover these days, thanks to Hunga Tonga, Popocatetl, and Mexico. Mauna Loa, of course, the United States, Hawaii. Dokono in Indonesia, Shevelich in Russia. Cotopaxi in Ecuador. Sabancaya in Peru. Wow, busy world. Stay tuned for the next video coming here with Daily Events Worldwide. Be giving you the volcanic activity report and as well the planetary positions coming up. We've got wind warnings across Ontario, which will persist for the next 24 to 36 hours. 
as cold front moves in. Looking across the rest of the world, strong systems through the Pacific. Polar outflow right now, Arctic outflow. As the polar vortex is set up big time, looking at rain across Madagascar, South Africa, and as well along the convergence lines through Europe, even stronger systems coming in from the Atlantic. Having a look here at windy.com, showing the wind forecast for the next little bit, expecting sustained 40 to 60 kilometer per hour winds through Ontario today as we have a huge low affecting us. And the center of the low will be north, running through Ontario and then into Quebec, but very strong winds up to 90 kilometers per hour through eastern parts of Lake Erie. And then watch for these cold temperatures to start sweeping across the nation in the long range forecast here by December 8th. Most of Canada will be enveloped into a deep freeze, minus 33 through Alberta and as well parts of northern BC. And just look at the polar outflow coming from China right now in eastern Russia. Starting to really cool the waters down through the Pacific, that's for sure. Having a look here at our weather forecast for the next little bit, overlooking North America. A couple systems moving in, one by Tuesday to Wednesday, set to bring winter in. But rain here for the next couple days with a windy event. South America, daily evaporation rains. Heavy at times through parts of Paraguay, Africa, South Africa, heavy rains through Algeria and as well Madagascar, overlooking Europe. A couple major systems there coming in from the Atlantic and then Southeast Asia and the Pacific and Australia. You got a low moving in there by Wednesday, southeastern region of Australia. That was a quick weather forecast. Give you more detailed forecast tomorrow. We've had a lot to talk about today. Wanted to show you here our polar vortex right now as it is set up. And we've got a huge high in the Pacific right now. And that is helping that Arctic outflow from the polar vortex. Things are really starting to cool down across the rest of the world. And that will move itself eastward. give you a little look here versus the southern hemisphere much love everybody i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to leave a like stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do we'll see you next video Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. 